Now, there's no denying divorce can take a toll on the family, so the thought of introducing a new partner into the mix can be quite terrifying. The experts agree there is a right way to do it and probably a wrong way. And two ladies who have been there are Karen Phillip and Prue McSween. They join us now. So, Karen, uh, you're an expert on this professionally, but you've been through it personally. So, how did you get through this minefield? Well, it is a minefield. That's mm. exactly right. Um, look, the best way to do it is slowly. That's all I can say, is just slowly. I have a lot of parents and children come into my rooms suffering the consequence of divorce and reintroducing a new partner, if you like, into Because um, you can form up very quickly. It yes, you can. Because you're a fiery can. personality and you want to share that. Yeah, oh yes, for sure. But what I normally suggest to people is to, to go slow, to make sure that the person is going to be around for a while. Now, I'm not saying wait for a couple of years until you plan to marry them, but just ensure that the, the partner that you have is going to be there for a while. And when you do introduce them, introduce them as your friend. And try and have the child accept them as a friend rather than a partner. Mm. And I do also say not to show any affection for at least a couple of To the child? No. 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 <laughs> so, not to show any affection to your to your boyfriend or girlfriend yeah. in front of the children. Oh, right. So keep yeah. it really neutral. Because yeah. that, what, would make, that would be quite uncomfortable. It for makes children it very uncomfortable for them. So what what we did is we I introduced my um, my then boyfriend, who's now my husband, to the children. But it took me a couple of years to introduce anyone to my children. Yeah. Two, three years, right. really. Yeah. And then we were going out quite a few months before I thought. Mm. So I would I he came and met us for lunch, and then we went out bowling, and then he came to the sports game. We still didn't touch or interact yes. um, physically until they were happy to give him a kiss goodbye or shake his hand goodbye. And once they introduced the touching, the closeness, then I would hold his hand or mm. give him a kiss on the cheek. So it was very, very slow. Prue, you were the stepmom in this situation, mm. weren't you? Where you were introduced to a new family, essentially. So how did your partner go about it? Very sensitively. And again, we took our time because you're dealing with little damaged souls. You know, they've got loyalties to their mum or to their dad, if it's the other way. And so I think uh, what we did was uh, I took some things. There were only 7, 12 and 14. I took some jewellery. And we, I just went in and I said I was introduced as a friend mm -hmm. and then we made some jewellery together and we just had a nice little afternoon tea and I, I introduced their mum to them I, in terms of I talked about mum, does mummy do this with you? So I didn't try and become their mum in the mm -hmm. long, longer term, mm -hmm. I just became a friend and tried to make it as natural as possible. And right. the thing is with... with <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing with situations like this, it is very sensitive, and I, and I appreciate you, uh, that you ladies have, have done it in such a very sort of cognizant and aware manner. But you know, kids pick up on this stuff. They're oh, not they silly. They know if mum or dad's, you know, got affection for somebody else. So what do you do then if the kids push the issue early? Well, it depends. Like when, when you say, oh, "This is my girlfriend," you know, Sonia, and they go, "Come on, come on, <laughs> we know." Look, it, it depends on the age of the children. If they're very little then it's often a lot easier. The older they get, it can be more difficult. But I really don't like the term stepmom or stepdad. Mm. Children have a mum and a dad, generally. And they, they do spend time with them and see them. And when we try to introduce this as your step, going to be your stepdad or your stepmom, I think that's where a lot of the issues start. So if with my children, my husband is my husband. I have, I have my children and they have their father and their mother. And I have my husband. Right. The same with his children. I, I'm not their this stepmom. Is not like, this is not your new dad. No. Mm. no but we have to, not. you know, I think you have to have common sense. You know, these are damaged little kids who are either very protective of their mum or dad. Who, yeah. um, they're also traumatised after a breakup. So you have to be taken, there is no rule. You just have to be aware that you've got to protect the the, the hearts and minds of these little souls. You and, know. and Prue, I mean, how much impact did your partner have on integrating you into the family? Quite a lot. I mean, he was very intelligent about it. He, he, um, he's a, a wonderful father, and he actually had set boundaries for them. He was very nurturing and loving during the, the tough time of the breakup. And you know, he's introduced me as um, their their parent in terms of their living with us now, so that. 
He's very, he stands by me if I discipline them and say, these are our rules. He is very, very uh, careful to make sure he doesn't ever undermine me and those children respect me and we have a great, re healthy relationship. And that is important, isn't it, Karen, to have that unified front, no matter what your parenting is, if, if it's your first time parenting or it's a new relationship parenting, you must stand by each other. Oh, for sure. And, and I think, I, I generally do suggest that the biological parent does most of the discipline whereas the, the new introduced parent or the step-parent will certainly back that up yes. and vice versa. But I don't feel that it all, it's never right. The children react often very badly when the, the step-parent tries to discipline them if they've got uh, an active parent that they're spending yeah. time yeah. with. Mm. I think it's also you've got to be lucky that you don't have a per parent sabotaging your relationship with them. You know, I'm lucky I didn't, mm. but in some cases I know it is difficult because the child has to almost be deprogrammed if they've been spending the weekend with the alienated or the, the yes. natural mm. uh, alienated parents sure. and then they come back into this relationship where all mayhem occurs. Well, it's a very yes. common situation yes. now, isn't it? And we yes. want to know what you think at home. When is the right time to introduce a new partner to your kids? And you might have some tips on the best way to go about yeah, it. Ring them out as well. Thanks, ladies. Still Thank to come.